Virgo, welcome to your second half of April bi-weekly love reading. This is for the 15th through the 30th. For your first week, you have Wedding, clarified by the Three of Wands and the High Priestess. And for your second week, you have Let Your Friends Help You. It's clarified by the Two of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. So Virgo, I'm seeing that you could be starting on a new journey with somebody like a new commitment journey. I'm seeing that you had a few options here, Virgo. You were juggling. You had possibly two or three options. And you've decided, you've made your decision on who you want. This person could be a Pisces. They could have fire in their chart, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I'm seeing that somebody has this intuitive knowing of who they want to start this new journey with involving some sort of commitment. Now the wedding card doesn't literally necessarily mean marriage. Um, it can just mean like a commitment, a marriage of two minds with the high priestess, coming to an agreement on possibly something involving heartbreak or involving matters of the heart. With the let your friends help you card, I'm seeing that Intuitively, you know what you want, but there's still this kind of confused energy with the Two of Pentacles. Like, you're still not really sure um, about if this is right for you, if this is what you want. So you got to ask your friends for help. Some of you guys have been going to friends for, like, advice. Because maybe you've been hurt in the past, or you're fearing being hurt. I'm seeing some of you guys have some friends, too, that are possibly in this heartbreak state, Virgo. They're in a state of heartbreak. So they're naturally going to tell you what they would want to hear. So some of your friends could be telling you things like, No, don't go with this person. He's just going to hurt you. He's just going to play games. So I'm hearing somebody's friend is kind of putting these seeds in their head about heartbreak and it's creating confusion because intuitively you know who you want Virgo you know but and, and you're ready to take this journey with three of wands you're ready you're just waiting for it to kind of happen you're kind of just waiting for things to lay out I don't think there's any rush in this connection which is really good I think you're just kind of letting things play out um, but there's still this underlying confusion like mm, I'm not really too sure if I want to start on this journey or if I'm I'm gonna get my heart broken again. I'm sensing somebody has trust issues and this is causing you not to trust your intuition. It's interesting, you have a two and a three and a two and a three. It's like, that's pretty crazy. Um, so there's a lot of indecision. Some of you guys still could be juggling two people. But you're eventually, you know that you're gonna have to break somebody's heart. You know that you're going to have to break the news to somebody that you know who you want. Clarify the Three of Wands, please, for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. There's possibly been a couple of options that you've been juggling, and some of you guys are going to be breaking the news to this person, to one of these options, um, in the next coming weeks. The Tower. I think that this was a shake-up for you. Maybe you didn't expect that you would like this person as much as you do. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Scorpio or an Aries, strong Aries energy. Um, but I'm seeing that some of you guys, I think that's where this underlying confusion is coming from because some of you guys did not expect to care about this person as much as you did. I'm sensing that some of you guys, you know, you could have just been kind of messing around you enjoyed having options. Some of you guys had three options. You had three people. Others of you only had two. But I'm seeing that some, some of you guys had three people. Yeah, there's this underlying confusion of, of like worry. It's like somebody's worried about getting their heart broken. Because I got two, three of swords here. This person could have possibly broken your heart in the past. For others of you, this could be a new person and you've had your heart broken in the past. Maybe something that was a big shakeup. 
but I'm seeing others of you kind of deciding to throw the past away and start on a new journey. You're kind of breaking down these mental constructs of possibly confusion, maybe pain, and you're deciding to trust in yourself, trust in the universe, and start on this new journey, start in this commitment with somebody. But there is still a sense of worry. Um, it's, it's very underlying though, Virgo. I don't think you're expressing this to people, and I think that's why the Let Your Friends Help You card comes up. And I think for those of you that are expressing it, um, you need to find people who are in a headspace very similar to yours, because I'm seeing that some of you guys have some friends that maybe recently got heartbroken, especially if you have a friend with a kid. I'm seeing somebody has a friend with a kid, and this person possibly got re like heartbroken very recently. Um, so they're kind of in that mindset of like, oh, F relationships, all of that, you know? So be careful who you're getting your advice from, because I'm seeing some of you guys are juggling the opinions of others, thinking they're your own opinions. Yeah, yeah, so you guys are just deciding to surrender these next two weeks. You're surrendering to your intuition, you're trusting your intuition. Some of you guys were fighting this, and maybe that's why the tower came through and just broke everything down. Some of you guys were trying to possibly look for other options. You were fighting this connection, and then all of a sudden the tower came through and exposed something. It broke something down, it broke a way of thinking down because the High Priestess is here. And you've decided to surrender and say, you know what, maybe this is the commitment for me. You know what I mean? Some of you guys are deciding that this is the kind of person that you want. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Page of Wands. What did I say? This is just confirming everything else I've just been saying. There's a new beginning here. There could be communication. Somebody takes action towards some heartbreak in the past. I'm seeing you guys really this week going within, or these next couple of weeks. You're going within, and you're fighting against whatever anxieties. You're breaking down any anxieties, any pain this week, because you want something to work, Virgo. Somebody wants something to work, this connection, this new beginning, this new journey, whatever it may be for you. Um, and you're deciding not to fight your intuition anymore. You're just going to surrender to the universe, surrender to the divine. And you're combating any heartbreak that you've experienced in the past where possibly someone was juggling too. Could have been an earth sign or an air sign. Doesn't have to be though, it could also be a fire sign. But I'm seeing communication, somebody takes action. Um, somebody could have been, I'm seeing somebody could have been juggling you and a friend. Like somebody's friend could have possibly been involved in this situation. Maybe their friend was a third party. I, I'm, I don't, I'm not really sure. But I'm definitely seeing there is a new beginning. Somebody's taking action, sending messages about heartbreak. I'm sensing that both parties are hurt. So if you're dealing with another air sign, maybe a fire sign, um, this person has pain within them too. I think both of you are hurting because you got the pentacles on this side, which is you with the heartbreak, and then you got the page of wands with the heartbreak as well. So if you're dealing with a fire sign or an air sign, especially if you're a Virgo with air in your chart, um, this is this person is hurting too. This person has been in pain before. There's possibly been conflict between you and this person, and maybe that's where the worry is coming from. You know what I mean? I think that's kind of where this um, worry is. Yeah, it's kind of deriving from this, these arguments, this chaos, this conflict. Inner conflict, though. A lot of this is inner conflict that you're having with yourself, and you're creating things. You're creating things, but you're going you're gonna to be breaking those things down. You're creating like mental constructs that you will be breaking down in these next two weeks. But that is what I'm seeing here, Virgo. The extended is going to be in the description below if you'd like to get a little more in-depth on this spread. Um, I have a link to the extended down there. So go ahead and check it out. If you'd like a personal reading, please get that done in the next two weeks because I will not be doing personal readings for May. Um, but other than that, I will see you later, Virgo. Take care. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.